I'm Emmy. And I'm Chad. So today, I'm going to talk about setting goals together with you guys. Ding! New Year's resolutions! New Year's resolutions! So growing up, I've always loved setting goals. I set goals every single year and always try my best to reach most of them. Mm. I don't set goals, but I'm here for moral support. I feel like a lot of times when people set goals, they're either very unrealistic, unrealistic. unachievable, mm. or they're not things that you can control. For example, mm. my friends, they would set goals. This year I need to find a boyfriend. Oh. This year I need to get married. I need to get a promotion. I need to reach a certain number of subscribers. But these are all things that you can't control. It's a very big goal, right? They just hope it's gonna happen sometime. Yeah, you don't actually do anything. And obviously throughout the year, you feel very helpless. You don't know what to do because you're just not reaching your goals. But then you feel even worse about yourself. It's just a vicious cycle. The best thing that works for me is to break it down into what you can do every month, what you can do every day in order yes. to reach that goal. For example, last year, my end goal was to get engaged. My plan would be what I can do in my life. Maybe once a week, talk to him about it, hint about it. When will you marry Chad? I think they're very curious to know when they should expect it. When are we going to oh. get married? <laughs> I'm going to let Chad answer this question. Send him photos of rings and dresses. These are the things that I can control. Uh, you did all that you could. Yeah. yeah. Then I could tell myself, I already did this. I tried this. It didn't work. Okay, move on to the next one. So, for example, if you need a boyfriend, how many Tinder swipes per day? Mm -hmm. How many coffee and bagels? How many swipes? dates you how actually many dates go to? Going on? Mm. A lot of us set goals. I want to be fit. I want to be healthy. That's super <laughs> vague. Maybe the first week, go to the gym. Uh -oh. and then you don't go as much. By the end of the year, you don't feel healthy, you don't feel fit. Oh, I found my goal. My last year goal, to go work out at least three to five times a week. And that's obviously within your control. Right? So what are you going to do now, Babu? Write my goals together with you guys. You Whee! can also take a paper and set your goals together with me. Fun times. Big goal is to be healthier, to have a better lifestyle. So a lot of you know, if you follow me on Instagram, that recently I haven't been doing so good. My sleeping schedule has been quite messy up I would work until like maybe midnight and then and I would <laughs> scroll on my phone or watch TV and then I would sleep at like three or four that's just really bad for my health and it makes me feel lazy and not motivated and it just makes me feel so bad about myself this is obviously something that I can just change myself right it's within my power right now I would be sleeping at like 3 a.m. so I'm gonna move it to 12 30 first for the first month and then the second month 12 Whoa. and the third month 11 30 so by April I need to sleep by 11. Wow. So that's my end goal. That's part of my plan, helping me to be healthier. Mm. The second one is maintaining my workout schedule. So mm. also three to five times a week at least. The third one, less processed food. Eat You're healthier. really quite good about that. Actually, no. Not we really. start to eat a bit more. Like a lot of you also saw my Instagram story. We would sometimes eat sausages for breakfast. Ooh. And like ham and instant noodles. Mm. It makes me feel not healthy as well. Fourth is more about my career. I used used to put how many subscribers I want to reach yes. like every year but now I realize that's not within my control and what I can do is to keep making content so moving forward is also to continue to do at least one video per week why don't I set like two to three it's because for the past year I think I prioritize my work too much I post so many videos a lot of you don't even have the time to be able to catch up on watching my videos I need to really sit down in 2019 to think about what are the contents I want to focus on and hopefully this will help my channel to continue to grow. A lot of you also know that I've just been on social media a lot especially now that it's my job. Social media it can help inspire you, motivate you but a lot of time it also can easily make you feel like you're comparing to others or Not a lot good. of the number of views, the number of likes do determine how good my work is performing. It always affects my mood. Most of the time I'm not really present when he's talking to me. I was just like spacing out, just thinking about you. She never videos. listens to me. <laughs> Like, I already know what my path is and what I want to achieve and, I, and that's not like a, it doesn't change from year to year so in my career, get promotion, get raised and then from a, from like a fitness standpoint just, you know. So I need to change that and not that bad, now they think I'm horrible, <laughs> I sometimes do. <laughs> sometimes, listen. 
this. My plan is to, after I post a video, I post a photo, just turn off my phone. Because that's something that I can't control. You already post it. There's nothing you can change. Yes. People like it, people don't like it. You can reflect on another day during my work time, but don't let it affect my family dinner, our weekends. And yeah. that's another thing. Our weekends have been spent just all like working, working, working. Every day is YouTube. <laughs> we'll have so many videos planned for one day to film. Then the whole day, I was just, oh my god, we need to do this. Okay, we'll get done and done. Dress really stress. I have a full-time career and then my weekend is also my second career. Now they think I'm horrible and low time. It's great. I love it. No, you know how in the videos you're supposed to be like happy. But inside is inside full like... of darkness <laughs> and sadness. So I feel like that's something I really want to change. Do you feel like I made an effort to be more relaxed today? Yeah, she is much more relaxed. We went today. out for lunch. It's we, a, we never we go out for lunch. We normally always get takeaway because we can't, afford, <laughs> we can't afford the time to go out. From now on, like, enjoy more, have more fun. That's good to do. Next one, our big goal is we want to save more money to mm. be able to eventually buy a house mm. for everyone to live in. Mm -hmm. This coming year, I want to be able to save at least 60% of my income every month. Wow. Too much? No, that's great. Is that realistic? Oh, you earn a lot, so 60 is okay. Well, we'll try. So that's my 2019 plan. Yeah. What's yours? Tell us what you guys are gonna change about yourselves in 2019. You guys also know I start a new hashtag called Change with Emmy because there are so many things that I want to change and I know you guys might also want to change in the coming year to be better so we can change together. Yeah. Do you want to change too? No, I'm <laughs> going to be the same. Oh, one more thing. Mm. To get our wedding plan settled. Oh yes, we need to get that and finalized. Our first step, next week, mm. we're having a call with our wedding planner. Yeah. We're having a wedding planner now. Hopefully it won't be too stressful. Hopefully we won't break up because of the wedding planner. We have so many friends who like broke off their engagement because, Just because of, of the wedding. wedding, wedding. How crazy is that? Don't know it will be one of those. I hope not. We'll keep you guys updated. That shows how weak the connection is if something like a wedding can this break someone up. It's a one day hard. event that destroys a relationship. But if that happened to us. Yeah, then we suck. Then we're weak. We're weak. So hopefully this will prove that we are strong. Happy 2019! Hope you guys have a good year. Yeah! And now we're actually going out to look at wedding dresses. Yay! Fun! What? You're not excited? I'm super. I'm doing no. my circle clap. If you guys like this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Bell button to get all the latest notifications. Thank you for the support! Eight years. Bye bye! Why don't you set goals? Um, Is it a girl thing? I think it's very much a girl thing. <laughs> like none of the very males that I know set New Year's resolutions. 